السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر ویورز ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل دعا ٹوڈے آئی ول بی شیئرنگ وتھ یو ا دعا ا سپلیکیشن دیٹ ہیز براٹ پیس ٹرینکیولٹی اینڈ کام ان مائی لائف اینڈ ہیز بینیفٹیڈ مینی آئی شیئرڈ وتھ I heard and read about it through many Islamic great scholars and speakers and I started reciting Al Musta'an and Allahul Musta'an whenever I was in any need or difficulty lost for words and explanation ganged up against put on the spot for no fault of mine and the agitation and distress was replaced by peace and calm So I did my research and discovered the story the wisdom behind this beautiful name this attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hope this helps you as it has helped me ameen Allahul musta'an Allah is the one sought for help al musta'an Allah is al musta'an meaning whose help is sought We must remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this beautiful attribute, this name. If someone slanders you and falsely blames you for any mischief or crime and you cannot prove yourself otherwise, you would say, Allah al-Musta'an, this is wrong, they are lying. This means that Allah is able to help us and we depend on Him for our problem and He knows what's good for us and we reply, Allah al-Musta'an subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah al-Musta'an has been translated in the Holy Quran by different translators in different wordings. Abdullah Yusuf Ali has translated Allah al-Musta'an as it is Allah alone whose help can be sought. And then Pictal has said Allah it is whose help is to be sought. And Amin Shakir has said Allah is he whose help is sought. From the root word in arabic we get isti'ana nasta'in ta'awun musta'an isti'ana means seeking help islamically it means seeking help exclusively from allah nasta'in means we seek help assistance Islamically, it means we seek help from Allah alone. Ta'awun means to help one another, cooperate with one another. Musta'an means one whose help is sought. Allahul Musta'an or Wallahul Musta'an is a beautiful statement we can find twice in the Quran. These words were said by the two prophets, one of whom is is Yaqub alayhi salam. Allahul musta'anu ala ma tasifun. And Allah is the one sought for help against that which you describe. Surah Yusuf, surah number 12, verse number 18. In Surah Yusuf, the story goes, when Yaqub alayhi salam's sons clearly described something that had not taken place when they came back with the false story of what happened to Yusuf alayhi salam, that a wolf ate Yusuf alayhi salam. Now, in his heart of heart, Yaqub alayhi salam knew that this was not the truth. In his anguish, he tried his best to find the truth, but his sons teamed up to defend their heinous act and lies. Tired of the situation, Yaqub alayhi salam besieged Allah for sabrun jameel, beautiful patience, followed by what could Yaqub alayhi salam do? All he could do was turn to Allah and he said, Allahul musta'anu ala ma tasifun. And Allah is the one sought for help against that which you describe. In Surah Al-Anbiya, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used this statement himself when disbelievers were disrespecting Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. 
وربنا الرحمن المستعان على ما تسفون And our Lord is the most beneficent, the one whose help is sought against that which you describe. No matter what your situation is, seek Al-Mustan's help first and foremost. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the ability to trust Him completely and ask help only from Him alone. On this subject, I would like to share with you a hadith narrated by Ibn Abbas anhu, At-Tirmidhi. One day, Ibn Abbas was saying, One day I was riding behind the Prophet wasallam. He said, O oh boy, I will instruct you in some matters. Number one. Protect the commandments of Allah. He will preserve you. Number two. Safeguard his rights. He will be ever with you. If you seek help, seek help from Allah alone. And if you need assistance, supplicate to Allah alone for help. And remember that if all the people gathered to benefit you, they will not be able to benefit you except that which Allah has for ordained for you. And if all of them gathered to do harm to you, they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than that which Allah has predestined against you. The pens had been lifted and the ink has dried up. Stress not if the situation seems impossible. Remember, you are asking the one who just have to say kun, and it is. You are asking the one who calls himself al-fatah, who creates a way out when there seems to be no way. So take a back seat and let Allah do the rest. Wallahul musta'an. Thank you for listening. السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ